All right, everyone, this is the worksheet titled Finding the Vertex Axis of Symmetry, Zeros, and the Max or the Min. Um, the first or the front of this worksheet is rather simple. Um, for the zeros, what you're trying to find is where the parabola crosses the x-axis. Now, the x-axis is this solid black line that is horizontal. It runs left and right. So if you take a look, uh, it's a little larger on your worksheet, our parabola crosses two times, right here and right here. All you need to do is write down the location of those points. The first one is negative 4, comma, 0. The second one is 0, comma, 0. If you notice, the zeros of the function, they're called zeros because that's when the y value is 0. Your axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is if I were to cut this parabola in half, going up and down. I would draw a line right here. And that line goes through the value negative 2. So the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2. Is this a maximum or a minimum? Well, this parabola opens downward, which means we have a value at the very top, which would be a maximum. And the vertex is that point at the very top, which is negative 2 up 4. There's your vertex. Okay, I'll do a few more. And then I'll show you how to do the back, which is a little more difficult. You're going to need your calculator for the back. Okay. So again, zeros. This time, my parabola only touches the x-axis one time, and that's at negative 2. So your zeros is just negative 2, 0. There's only one. Your axis of symmetry, again, if I were to cut this line in half, or this parabola in half, it would go through x equals negative 2. Is there a maximum or a minimum? Well, this time there is a minimum, a very bottom, and that is at negative 2, comma, 0. All right, third example, zeros. There's one at negative 3, and there's one at positive 3. The axis of symmetry is actually the y-axis, which means x equals 0. Max or a minimum, again, all the way down at the bottom here would be a minimum, and that is at negative, um, excuse me, 0, negative 9. For number four, we have zeros. There's two of them. One's at negative five, and the other one is at negative three. Axis of symmetry, if I were to cut this parabola in half, it would go through negative four. X equals negative four. Okay, a maximum or a minimum. This parabola opens downward. There's a maximum, and that point is at negative 4, 1. Right there. Zeros, 3 and 7. 3, 0, 7, 0. Axis of symmetry, if I were to cut this parabola in half... It would go through 5. x equals 5. Maximum or a minimum. This time we have a minimum. And that is at 5, negative 4. Zeros for number 6. This one's interesting. This parabola does not touch the x-axis at all. 
there are no zeros or none. If I were to cut this parabola in half, the axis of symmetry would go through 2. So x equals 2. There is a minimum on this graph. And that is at the location 2, 5. Zeros at 1 and 5. Axis of symmetry would cut through three. There is a minimum, and that is at the point three, negative four. Zero is at negative two and zero. Axis of symmetry cuts through negative 1. There is a maximum this time. And that maximum is at negative 1, 1. Zeros, this time there's only 1, 5, 0. Axis of symmetry also cuts through x equals 5. There is a minimum value here, and that's the same spot, 5, 0. Okay. For the back, you're going to need your calculator. So either grab it, uh, your physical copy of your calculator, or pull up your Android or Apple versions of the calculator. Or you could pull up the internet one, uh, which there's a link on the website to the internet version, although it's not the best. All right, I'm going to show you using the Apple one, which is the same as the Android and your physical version of your calculator. Here's your function. y equals x squared plus 4x minus 7. You're going to type that in into y equals... So we have x squared plus 4x minus 7. x squared plus 4x minus 7. We are going to hit second graph to pull up your table. And we're going to look for those doubles just like we did in the previous worksheet. Okay. I see a negative 2 on the top. And I see a negative 2 on the bottom. I see a negative 7 and a negative 7. I see a negative 10 and a negative 10. And the value that's right in the middle of all of those doubles is negative 2, negative 11. That is your vertex. And that is your answer. Negative 2, negative 11. All right, so we're just going to continue to type these functions in one at a time and find the center of the table. Negative x squared plus 8x plus 16. y equals negative x squared plus 8x plus 16. Yep, second table. And we're going to search for those doubles. And there they are. 23 on the top, 23 on the bottom, 28, 28, 31, 31, and right in the middle is 432. All right, your next function, 3x squared minus 6x minus 2. Second table. Search for those doubles. There they are, 22 on the top and the bottom, followed by a pair of 7s, a pair of negative 2s, and in the middle is 1, negative 5. That's your vertex or your turning point. 1, negative 5. Go back to y equals negative 2x squared 
minus 8x minus 3. Second table. Search for the doubles. There they are. Negative 13s on the top and the bottom of your y column, followed by negative 3s and positive 3s. And your turning point of this graph is negative 2, 5. Two x squared plus four x plus one. Two x squared plus four x plus one. Second table. And there's your center. Negative one, negative one. Okay, I'm gonna leave the last four for you guys. Uh, there's a bonus at the bottom. Feel free to try that one. Uh, if you need any help, reach out via email, Google Voice. Thanks for watching.